Tonight we have something a little bit different I want to try out on the channel. Um, I want to give back in some way to the community in which I stand with and by doing that I'm going to be doing a guest narrator spotlight once a month, if you all enjoy of course. Um, making the first appearance in our guest spotlight is Bad Vibes Storytelling. If you enjoy his work, then please be sure to go to his channel in the description and maybe drop a sub. I know he would appreciate it. So without further ado, let's begin. Last year on Boxing Day, I found a really cool ornament in the clearance box. It had a built-in camera to record unique perspectives on the holiday celebrations. I grabbed the last one from the store's dusty shelf and brought it home for less than 10 bucks. I forgot about it until my wife, my two daughters, and I decorated the house earlier this month. I told my daughters about the camera and said we'd secretly catch Santa in the act. I had an old costume in the attic and intended to deliver some gifts in full view of the camera on Christmas night. My girls were overjoyed and went back and forth trying to find the best place to put the ornament on the tree. They had no idea Daddy repositioned it later so it could actually catch the living room from a good angle. In the nights leading up to Christmas, I turned the camera on to make sure everything was working properly. In the morning, I previewed the footage, just long enough to confirm it was working. Satisfied, I installed the micro SD card back into the ornament and slipped in a new battery in anticipation of the big night. Daddy didn't want to disappoint his girls with a failed recording. We enjoyed Christmas Eve as a family, playing board games and eating more junk food than there was room for in our stomachs, like we did every year. We let our daughters open one gift from mommy and daddy before going to bed. The girls, still riding the sugar high, could be heard giggling in their bedrooms from all the way upstairs. From time to time, my wife and I could hear one of them shush the other, claiming she heard hooves on the roof or bells jingling. Eventually, our kiddos dozed off. My wife kissed me on the cheek and headed to bed while I turned off all the lights. I retrieved the costume and tiptoed into the living room to get ready for the big feature film debut. I did everything you would expect Santa to do. I ate most of the cookies. I drank the milk. I pet my large stomach and said ho 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 and dropped a few presents by the fireplace in full view of the camera. A pretty good acting job if I do say so myself. On Christmas morning, the girls come running into my bedroom to wake us up. They excitedly insist we watch the video before opening presents. I transfer the footage onto my laptop, fast forward to where Santa showed up, and press play. My girls squealed in delight and jumped in front of the screen, frantically waving at Santa while obscuring the video from my view. It brought me so much joy to see how happy the girls were. I was too lazy to stop the video, so it continued to play in the background while we unwrapped gifts. I spotted a box I had not seen the night before. It was small and wrapped in blue foil paper I did not recognize. My name was on it, but my wife seemed as surprised as I was to see it there. Noticing my confusion, my youngest daughter spoke. Daddy, that's gotta be from Mr. Elf, she said, her voice cheerful and bright. I was about to dismiss her elf comment as just another weird thing kids say, but my wife wasn't so quick to ignore it. Honey, what elf? She asked. My daughter pointed to the laptop. By then the video had ended and all that was left was a screen of the preview for the first frame. The one that came with Santa, she answered. Panic struck me like a bird in a jet propeller. I knew my wife didn't dress up as an elf. I scanned the video, clicking forward and back until I saw what my daughter had seen. There was someone in the living room he walked into the corner after I turned the lights off. He stood watching me parading around as Santa. The video was completely quiet after that. It was as though the camera failed to record a single sound. The strange, tall man in an elf costume stood perfectly still for over an hour, watching the camera from a distance. After a while, he walked over to the plate of cookies and bit the head off a gingerbread man. I glanced at the plate and saw his teeth marks on the decapitated cookie. The man quietly approached the Christmas tree. I thought the audio wasn't working, but as he reached the Christmas tree, I began hearing his slow, steady breaths. 
He reached towards the ornament and the video stopped. In a terrifying frenzy, I grabbed the blue box he had left behind. I ripped the bow off of it and tossed the frilly thing away. I frantically removed the wrapping paper, opened the box, and looked inside. There, on a bed of bubble wrap, was a battery I put on the camera the night before. My wife took the ornament and opened the back. The battery was missing. I don't know what scares me more, what the camera caught, or what the elf might have done after he turned the camera off. Thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did. I have a few videos that I'm making at the moment. I just need to get round to rendering them out and editing them. But um, if there's any new kind of content you want to see, then please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comment section below. If you want to read the original story, then you can also find that in the description below as well. Anyway, I hope you all have a pleasant evening, and I'll see you all in the next one.